What defines a hero? Is it cakes? Thank you for being a hero among oh us. God. Look how cute that is. That's so special. <laughs> oh my god. And the cash. <laughs> Thank you. When I was seven, living in Mexico, right, in a place where there was a lot of poverty and then immigrating to Santa Rosa, walking through the border, right, in the middle of the night with helicopters chasing you, still, like, I, I have that memory. Being triggered by all of these kids being in cages, right, and I remember when we were put in jail or whatever from trying to cross the border, they used to let you go, right, and now they don't. They hold you indefinitely, they separate you from your parents maybe, and like, that's really tough to bear witness to, you know, coming through those experiences. At one point we got separated from my sisters and my mom and I was like, am I gonna ever see them again? That's one of the hardest feelings that I still remember like going through. I went to Sacramento State, I got involved in Mecha and it was a place where I connected with people who had similar values than I did um, and who was working within the organization to advocate and to educate our community through art and culture. They were taking up space using the art department to create silk screening. They were like the, the art front of the movement back in the day. And so if you look at those murals, you could see like reflections of our um, antepasados, of our ancestors, right? Of like the people that we come from, people that prayed and worshiped the elements. For me, it was finding a sense of identity. I didn't learn any of what they did through books or through reading about it, but through just sitting in community with them and organizing and then like sharing stories. All of the changes that they did inspired me to then come back into this community and seeing all the inequities and seeing what they were trying to change back then made me really inspired to do what they did. In 2015, when we started doing some of this work and taking a space in libraries, um, in schools, in the classrooms, I think people are seeing what being passionate about certain work looks like and they're wanting to create things that they care to see in their community. So I'm starting to see what leading by example means. If you think something is missing, then no one's gonna come save us. We have to do it ourselves. If we don't see government doing it, then we have to come to help each other out. I think that's a huge movement that's happening now. In 2015, we became a nonprofit, Jaisas Collective, whose mission is to empower people through art, culture, and environmental education. It's a space where anyone can come. It's like a beautiful space for all of us to come together if they need that space. All of these relationships that I've built through this work has transformed me in a way that um, I truly do believe in collective power and collective work. Follow what calls to you, to your spirit, to your heart. And I know it's hard to say because a lot of us are in survival mode, but I've just been witness, you know, to people following what they love to do, wanting to help their community. And that's all I strive to do is just to make space for that. A hero is someone who helps other people in need and makes the world a better place. A person who needs someone, really. A hero is a person who helps people and things that need to be saved. I think a hero is someone who doesn't only love themselves, but tries to find the love and goodness in others and tries to help them. I think it's the type of person who really